Hi guys, it's Rihanna, welcome back. In today's episode, I'm gonna be sharing my zero waste handbag essentials. The first essential I'm gonna share with you is my Clean Canteen Insulated Stainless Steel Flask. I got this a few months ago and ever since I got it, I use it every single day. So many people buy water in plastic bottles and it's just really bad for the environment because the majority of those plastic bottles are not recycled and plastic is evil. So we should try and avoid it as much as possible. So investing in a stainless steel flask is amazing. I really like how the water tastes as well, as weird as that might sound. I don't like that plasticky taste you get when you drink bottled water. It's gonna last me a long time. They come in a ton of really cute colors so you can choose one that suits your personality. This is definitely one of my faves. My second essential for my handbag is, of course, my keep cup. And I know I've shown you guys this in one or maybe even two videos previously. I don't take this with me out every single day because I don't need to. I tend to find it more useful when I'm in London because I pretty much always get a coffee or a tea on the go. And I also generally take it with me, well not generally, I always now take it with me when I'm driving, if I'm driving from here somewhere else in the country, because I've noticed that all service stations on the motorway in the UK, they give you disposable cups now, even when you're sitting in and having a coffee. So taking a keep cup is a really great way not to have to have one of those disposable cups, those one-time uses. I have the, it's, a, it's, it's glass, the actual, container and then I have the cork band because it's more sustainable and then this is made from 100% recycled plastic which I think is really cool. They have other options on their website but this is kind of the most eco-friendly version so that's why I went for this. My next essential is my new handy dandy spork. It's fair, it's a new, it's a new purchase and I bought it on the Life Without Plastic store and it comes with a really cute little cotton pouch that you can carry it around in and if you're someone who lives in a city and you tend to buy food on the go and you're always using those nasty plastic one-time use cutlery then this would be a great investment for you it's also really small so you don't really have the excuse of oh that's not going to fit in my bag I bought two I bought one for myself and one for Andrew and these are also going to come in really handy when we go camping my next handbag essential and I always have at least one of these in my bag is a reusable shopping bag this one, I think I bought it in Lakeland. I'm gonna put all the links to everything below, don't worry. And it folds up really neatly. And this one has cats on because I'm um, cat crazy. Um, I love it, I use it all the time. As I said, I always have at least one reusable shopping bag in my handbag, but I pretty much always have this one with me. So one or two. And then if I end up going shopping or buying fruit or veg, I can just throw them in this bag and then I don't have to worry about the plastic stuff. It's a great idea. Something that I've only very recently started doing and something that Andrew finds really strange is that I now carry a tea towel with me in my bag and it's really useful in case I'm taking like my lunch somewhere and I need a clean surface, I can use it as a kind of placemat. I can also use it if I buy any fruit and I don't have like my reusable bag with me and then I can put the fruit in the center and wrap it up and then it's kind of like a makeshift bag. It's just really handy for so many things and I know when I'm in the car, I'm often like spilling stuff on myself so, it's good and useful for that too. My next essential is, I suppose, a kind of beauty thing, I'd put it in that category, and it's my little hanky book. So if you're someone who uses tissues a lot and you're constantly th blowing your nose or using it for makeup or whatever you might use tissues for in your bag, then switch to one of these. It's a little booklet made of fabric, and I think it's such a cool idea because you can use the pages, as it were, and it lasts a really long time. You can also use it to kind of wipe stuff up. And it's just such a great idea. It's, it's really innovative. I always have it in my bag now. And I bought it from the Boobaloo website, but all links will be below, don't worry. My next essential is definitely, I suppose it's a BT one as well. It's my little stainless steel tin that I will find the website I found it from because I can't remember right now, but the all links will be below, don't worry. I will include everything. So it's a little aluminium tin, which is filled with shea butter. Now shea butter is amazing, I love it. It's great as a lip balm, it's great as a moisturizer, it's also fantastic as a primer underneath your makeup. 
I'm so in love with shea butter and it's really natural. It's really mild. So if you have sensitive skin, it's going to be great. It goes on quite heavy. So you need to sort of melt it in the palm of your hand and then it becomes a kind of, it becomes an oily consistency, but my skin is fairly sensitive and can be prone to being dry. So I've taken to it really, really well. And if you guys want me to do a morning skin routine, then comment below and let me know because I've really switched up my products and I'm using as few things as possible now, but also as natural as possible as I can get because I found that my skin was reacting to a lot of products. And then I was looking at the ingredients and realizing that there was just so much crap in the things that I was using. So shea butter has been an absolute godsend and I'd recommend it in anyone's handbag. And my last essential is my handy dandy menstrual cup. Now, before I started using reusable period options, so before I was using menstrual cups and cloth pads and such, and making videos about them because I have another channel where I talk about all of this, I would pretty much always carry in my bag a couple of disposable sanitary pads and then maybe like a couple of tampons. And now, since I've made the switch, all I need to carry with me is a menstrual cup. So even if you have a really tiny handbag, you're never going to be caught out so long as you have your cup in your bag. So I literally have this in my bag with me everywhere. It's a little cup if you've never seen it before. It's made of silicone and it's similar to a tampon in that you, you have to fold it like so, insert it, and then it pops open inside your vagina. Instead of absorbing the blood like a tampon, it collects it and it's just an amazing zero waste alternative and I really, really recommend them. Those are all my zero waste handbag essentials and I basically have those things in my handbag all the time. I would say I use them on a daily basis, they're really useful and I hope this video has been helpful. Maybe it'll get you going with starting off with zero waste and thinking about how you can start to incorporate them into your bag and just into your general routine. If you like this video and you'd like to see more zero waste videos, then give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. I'm still in the middle of my 30 videos in 30 days, so lots more to come. Follow me on Instagram at Rihanna Jameen. Check out my blog, RihannaJameen.com. And if you feel like it, go and like my Facebook page, Rihanna Jameen Blog. If you're interested in the menstrual cup, then go and check out my second channel where I'm always talking about periods and menstrual cups and zero waste period alternatives. Until tomorrow, guys, love and light. Hi guys, it's Rihanna. And Andrew. And welcome to another vegan chat. In today's episode, we're talking about kids and whether vegans should even have kids. Today's video is a little bit lazy to be honest, but I'm currently doing 30 videos in 30 days over on my other channel, which takes up a lot of my time.